Welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Let's go make sure this is unlocked so I can escape in case something chases me down. Okay, let's unlock it. I just locked myself in. Okay, I feel better. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that open. There's nothing actually up here. These things are actually very pretty. Looks like copper. Maybe brass? Beautiful. Great turbines of power generation. Wait, let's make sure I didn't miss anything over here. Ooh. Hmm. bringing some power back to this place. All right, that one's locked up, can't turn it. Same with that one. But what is the point of doing that? What am I powering? Can I turn it again? Okay, can you turn it on and off? It's a very strange experience to be at the bottom of a dam, looking up. You really get a sense for its... for its scale. It's pretty amazing how big these things are. There actually is a pathway over here. I don't know where this leads. Nice little quiet spot.
Yeah, I'm still not sure what the point of turning that on was. I mean, these lights were already on, weren't they? Perhaps it powers the elevator thing? I never actually tried to use the elevator, so I don't know if it had no power. Still nothing up here. Okay, I can continue down this way, or I could go back into the mines and try to complete that scene that I got the uh, the pickaxe for. The mother that was dead in the elevator. Let's go briefly look down here. Actually, yeah, let's follow the power lines. Actually, there's no, there's no power lines coming from there, which is where the power would be generated, right? But there are power lines going here to up there. Hmm. Yeah, I think the rest of this building is locked down. Although, I can see inside. Kinda. If only I could stand on my tippy toes. I can't jump either. Can't see much of anything. Just outlines of stuff. I think this place actually ends here. Yeah, I can't keep going down there. I think I have to I think I have to go back into the mines. High voltage. What the hell is that? I think that's a rendering error actually. Probably can't keep going this way. No. Okay, I think it's back to the mines. Or perhaps I should try the elevator. Although when I get to the top, I'm not actually going to be doing anything since I have no reason to get back there. But I'm just curious if the thing works. I know I wish I tried... I tried to use the elevator before turning on the power, because I wonder if that's actually connected. Hey, it works! Oh dear god, this thing is slow. Take me down! I'm not waiting for that to get all the way to the top. Alright, let's get back to the mines. Where is the entrance? Crap. Wait, what? Where the hell was the entrance? I know it was somewhere in this direction. But wasn't it before I hit the elevator here? Which means it's somewhere back here, which is where I just was and it wasn't there. Unless it was over this way. No, I don't think so. It was pretty large. You know, maybe I actually have to go back to the mines by going up the elevator. I don't know, maybe reality shifted. Or something. I 
I think I might have to go up the elevator. I'm never going to find it again. Either my sense of space is very bad, or it's just disappeared. Both are very possible. Given that reality likes to shift in this place. Alright, one more look over here, and if it's not here, I'm going up the elevator. Was it up there? Or is that just a weird hole in the rock? There actually are some weird holes in the rock. Don't look at it! No, I can't get up that thing. No, no, there's a whole, like, obvious play Right here, here it is. Okay. <laughs> I went too far. I was standing on top of the entrance. Yeah, here it is. Right? Or wait, this... Oh, shit. Maybe this was it? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where I came from, wasn't it? No, this is where I came from! Okay! Alright, we're good. Wasn't all the way against the rock wall. Where did I leave the tram? It's very dark. Uh, where's my amnesia light? Oh, it just didn't even save the position of the tram. Okay, that's weird. I don't actually need it, but I want to free it again. Plus, these, rock, ro these rocks look damn sexy when you have the light on it. Forwards! I'm gonna blow this thing down at five miles per hour. Put all your mips into it. actually completed this scene, so this scene is probably not saved, now that I think about it. Which, actually, does that mean... That means I never even picked up the pickaxe, doesn't it? Crap. I gotta go get it again. That's right. The way the save system works is kind of weird. If you don't complete the scene, it doesn't actually save the scene. Hence why everything here was reset. Yeah, I, I know where it is. Let's go get the pickaxe again. It 
It's alright, it's right here at the beginning, I think. Shouldn't have to go the whole way. Yeah, there it is. broken. Okay, there's no way that's enough to fix the whole thing. But, let's try. Wait, it is? Oh well. Wow. That was it. Okay, to the right, to the left. Oh, this one's gonna be right here, isn't it? Yep. There's Dale, if I'm remembering his name correctly. There's Ethan, which is the kid. There's Trevor, which is his brother. There's Dale, which is the dad. I don't remember the mother's name. There's Chad, which is the uncle. Ed is the grandfather. Okay, they both came here. Looks like they're looking for something. They weren't at each other's throats at that time, obviously. This time it looks like Dale was going to probably kill her with that. Yeah, it looks like he's the one that put her in there. Probably said, go first, honey. And then closed it and then messed up the lock and pressed the button. Looks like he's looking back in regret at what he did. Or maybe he's looking at the button and about to do it. Hmm. Okay, well they obviously came here first. Together everything was fine. Actually, you know what? I just realized this might be uh, Dale protecting Ethan, because Ethan said to keep his mother uh, away from him, right? Because she's, you know, she's crazy. Maybe this was him trying to do that? Maybe. Alright, I'm gonna say he picked it up. Locked, mm, locked her in here and then picked it up, or picked it up and then locked her in here. Well, he doesn't actually have it in his hand, so this had to happen first, actually. Yeah, then he picked it up. Is that looking back in regret, or looking at the button? Did he look at the button and then do the button, or did he do the button and then look back? Hmm, let's just try this. He probably ran. Well, why wouldn't he? Why would he be here? Shit. That was probably a raccoon. No. No, I don't think it was. He's just a kid. He didn't disturb anything. He just found a room in an old house. That's it! Oh, boy, is the price. I'm going up there. The sleeper must not sleep. Wait, so this is not number three? But then... Well, I guess this is the next one, because again, he doesn't have it in his hands. Let's try that. He's just a kid. He can't get away. It's the sleeper's time to wait. Missy, listen to yourself. No, I see clearly. The sleeper breathes inside me. You're sick. We all are. Dale, what are you doing? Dale, what is this? I'm... The 
fixing something. Dale, you miserable coward! Let me out! The sleeper demands to rise! The sleeper must wake up! The sleeper must wake up! The sleeper must... I thought I heard her voice. She's, um, still looking for you. Y you need to leave. Go through there. Through that water? It kind of looks like it's boiling. No, no, it, it's just a simple chemical reaction. It's not actually boiling. Mom! Mom! Where are you? I'll deal with your brother. Just go, now! He didn't kill his wife. She was no longer who she once was. Neither was he. Something was using all this pain and death. Something was becoming stronger. I'm trying to think of the order of events here. Because Travis was still alive at this point. And yet, Travis is the first person I saw to die when I came here. Killed by Ed. So I might have started with one of the last things that actually happened. Right? Hmm. I noticed that Ethan had a couple of um, gas cans on him. And it's probably since Travis was still alive at this point, it was probably one of those gas cans that was used f uh, to power the tram that ran over Travis. Remember the spilled gas can at the very beginning? That was probably one of Ethan's. But what was he actually trying to do with them? What was Ethan trying to do with those cans? Did it just happen to get used for that rail car that I first saw when I came to this place, or...? Was that the intention, and what, what did he intend to do with the rail car? He talked about going through the boiling stuff, right? Which is where I just came from. So that is where Ethan went. So he must have went up... the elevator? If he went out there? Because otherwise, where could he have gone? And he's either back into the caves here. Or... It's up the elevator. He said he's going through the boiling stuff, which means he must have went outside, which means, yeah, I guess he must have went up the elevator. But then, I've already been up there. Oh, he said it, he wanted to burn down the house. Right? The, the house that had the doors of confusion, right? So that must have been what he went up there to do. Yeah, okay, so the order of events is starting to become a little bit clearer. I'm not exactly sure what happened first, but I know the Travis thing obviously, when Travis died, that obviously happened very late. At that point he had already burned or tried to burn down the house. I can't remember whether the house, that house was actually burned down. I don't... what was it? It was very rickety looking. I don't know if it was actually burned though. So I'm not actually following these things in chronological order. Either they're all jumbled up or I'm just going in reverse order. I'm not sure which. Well, um, I can't see what it would accomplish to go up the elevator, because I've already already been up there. So I guess I should go down? Deep, deep, deep down? I'm curious about this as well. Like, how come I can do that? Y you know, it's probably just for consistency's sake, actually. 
because that's the way this elevator is supposed to work. I, I doubt it actually means anything. I don't think it means I can actually go up there. I don't think. I guess I'm going down. I don't actually remember where the way down was. It might have been... Shit. It might have been that back there. I know the way to the bubbling stuff is all the way at the end here. Which is where I don't want to go. Yeah, was it here? Oh, I think it was here. Yeah. Down we go. Back to here. Walk no further, our ritual failed. The sea thing gate remains sealed. And there's a map here. You are here. And other stuff is everywhere. There's a lot of candles down here. An implausible amount of candles, a ritualistic amount of candles. That's not good. Uh, what the fuck? Was that like a, a save point? Basically? Like, you, f you failed? <laughs> this warning stands, walk no further. I, I did walk further. Try that again? I don't think anything's gonna change. Or maybe it did. I mean, if I'm supposed to do something else before I come here, I can't think of what it is, because I've already been everywhere else I can think of to go, so... That was weird. Alright, so some sort of a maze type thing, I guess. And if you go the wrong way, something pops up? And then it loads your game? Or something? I'm more confused than scared, I'm just not sure what the hell that was. Like, did that actually happen? Did... did did the monster grab me and then teleport me? Or did the monster grab me and it said, Okay, well you failed, so I'm just gonna put you back here. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, uh, that map doesn't really help me. So I'm just gonna go some way. That X is much redder than the other ones. 
Coincidence? Where am I actually going, though? I mean, like, does anything on this map look particularly interesting? Not really. I don't see an exit. There only appears to be one way into here. And that's the way I came in, obviously. Is it sleeping? What the fuck happened to you? Jesus. Someone who's been very corrupted by the influence of the sleeper, I guess? Okay, where are you leading me? This better not be a spirit trap. Whoa. There's another one. I hope this is one of Ethan's stories. Look, even the candles have been, like, ritualistically placed around him. What the hell? The fucking Stargate. Are the Chevrons aligned? The Chevrolets? He is not dead, but eternal lie? The god of strange eons cannot die. We open the gate, the gate of old. Its guardian's eyes have long grown, grown cold. The name of our god, our truth, our key. He is that which is, which should not be. There's a couple glowing symbols at the top of this thing, too. The name of our god is our truth, our key. So the name of the god is the key to the gate? Before I go up there, I want to see if there's anything around this base here. Oh my. It seems we have quite the puzzle. Hmm. 
Alright, I need to spell something, and apparently the name of the god is the key. Of course, there is quite a question of what is the name of the god. Now, they're standing on symbols. Symbols that are probably up there. I'm thinking there's probably more of these bodies to find. There's probably more than two. I mean, there probably is as many as you have symbols up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think I have everything I need to solve it yet. Although there were a couple symbols on this note, so maybe that makes up part of them. In which case, maybe I only need two more, because I think there's two here. Two already up there, two... Yeah, so I guess, like, the first and last I already have, maybe? Assuming that is the name of the god, those glowing things? Perhaps. Maybe. Let's go back into the maze and just look around. It doesn't seem I'm going to die if I take a wrong step. So I'm just going to run around like crazy. Is this the beginning? Oh shit. Is he coming? Oh god. Okay, it's gone. Yeah, this is the beginning, isn't it? Mm-hmm. looking at me. Let's go to where he disappeared. Nothing. Oh, here's another one. Alright, so I need either one more or three more. I believe. Depending on whether those, those two symbols on the note account for two of them. Assuming I'm understanding it correctly, which I may not be, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea where I've been and where I haven't been, though. So searching this place methodically is a little bit difficult. Oh shit. Okay, so the main room is this thing right here, right? I think. Like, you go this way, take a right, take a left, and then it should be there. Let's make sure I have my spatial sense down. Take a left, take another left, and then the big chamber should be in there. Yeah, so that's it. Okay.
that's the beginning. Where have I not checked? No idea. And the truth is, if I'm only missing one symbol, then I could easily do that by trial and error. So, I maybe don't need any more, actually. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are not two more of them, so I'm guessing... So I'm guessing the symbols on the note are probably what I need. I think it's gone. Yeah, that's probably it. I do want to go down here when it disappears, though, actually. I'm not sure if I've been down here before. Okay, yeah, there are more. In that case, there probably is a sixth one. Unless I'm, like, going in circles and just, like, activating the same ones? Like, maybe every time one of them pops up, one... I, I don't know. That's probably overcomplicating it. Well, in this case, I am only missing one. Which really shouldn't be a big deal, I would think. So, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, let's just go try to, try to do it. write these down in case. Okay, so we got a thingy. And then we got like an M. A fat-bottomed M. Okay. Okay. 